Yo, what's up? This your boy, the type of native on a desk tour. It's my first video on YouTube, so let's get it. At least of the tour of destiny. Um, so basically, uh, what this is is this is just like the tower area of Destiny, and uh, yeah, I'm just basically gonna take you on a nice little tour to show you just kind of how the game functions, its layout, its uh, dynamics, its graphics, man. And you know, did I say graphics? Yeah, it's it's stunning graphics, man. Like. You know, my homie George, he got me hooked up on this game, and, uh, man, like, yeah, the game's just dope, man, just can't say enough about it. Like, it's, it's definitely got its ups, it's got its downs like any other game, but, um, one thing is that it's just, it's just a really, it's just a really unique game, uh, in, in the sense of, uh, Bungie kind of tried to make it a little, like, like Halo, but... <laughs> yeah, yeah, there's me dancing. <laughs> I like, I kind of like that you can do stuff like this because I used to play this game with my homie Brett, and um, we used to always play war not this game, but we used to play war uh, World of Warcraft together, and we were like orcs and we were kind of dancing around like that. And, yeah, so I kind of just figured I'd add that in. But yeah, it's just a unique game all around. Right here, I'm at the Crypt Arc. He's one of the dudes on the tower, and uh, yeah, right here you can. I'm just kind of going through. Um, yeah, there's the Vanguard, the Crucible Marks. Uh, Vanguard, it's, it's kind of hard to kind of detail it and all get it all explained for you at this moment. But basically, uh, those are like uh, different type of reputation marks that you get. And the Crucible is basically, uh, yeah, there's reputation. Uh, your reputation marks for like the Crucible would take you in um, like multiplayer. That's how you earn those points. And uh, going on like strikes and raids and stuff like that. So. Um, yeah, just here, just kind of showcasing my character. Uh, only a level 18 right now. I know my my buddy, my buddy that plays this game has got like three characters, different classes, and they're all like level 32. So you know he's put in a ton of work on this game. I'm still kind of just learning as I go. And um, yeah, this is my vault. They got a little vault system where you can kind of stash your stuff. And um, yeah, it's just a, just a dope game in so many ways. Like when it first came out and I first got it for the PS4, I just I was blown away by the graphics, like the graphics, the lighting, just everything about it was just like really just it just blew my mind, you know. Um to to come off of the PS4, like I tried the uh, demo version on the PS PS3 and I had my homie George like basically send me screenshots um, through text messages, and he was, like, showing me, like, you know, dude, you gotta upgrade, man, and you gotta get the PS4, and he's just, like, check this out, and we were, like, kind of just, just trying to compare the graphics and the textures, and I just came to find that, um, the textures were just, it, just mind-blowing on the PS4 compared to the PS3 version, like, this shit, there was just really no contest, and, um, yeah, right. just right here, I'm kind of rolling up on, uh, special orders, you get special orders from this chick right here. Uh, she'll hook you up with different emblems and different special orders that may come Bye, through and uh, right there you're going to kind of see that there was a little bit of uh, I'm available to help you, Guardian. a little bit of glimmer points at the bottom which I can explain here later on Yes. and right here is the bounty tracker let's go to this dude and uh, yeah through the bounty tracker man it's pretty self explanatory you know you go through the if it's gonna say already purchased or not enough space, it just kind of tells you what's what's good there. Um, but all these are different. They like let's say Vanguard Bounty up there, Vanguard Vanguard, and then these ones are Crucible, right? So those that's your Vanguard and your, your Crucible uh, for reputation points, and you need certain reputation points to be able to get certain bounties. And um, yeah, we'll just head over here uh, real quick to Banshee. Uh, he is a gunsmith. Let's see these. One of my favorite homies right here, Banshee. Dope dude, dope dude. Uh, but yeah, uh, you come over here. You got Banshee the gunsmith, and you look through, and it kind of right here, um, right there. Stock refresh. Another thing, just great about the game. It's kind of like, kind of reminds me a little bit of um, like it's stock refresh. It kind of reminds me a little bit of like 
uh, for the PS3, I used to play this game called Borderlands, Borderlands 1, Borderlands 2, and now they got the new Borderlands pre-sequel out now. But yeah, it kind of reminds me of that in the sense that it's constantly always refreshing, keeps the items new, so it keeps, it, keeps the game kind of dope like that. Um, we'll go downstairs real quick and take you through here. And again, I know a lot of you that may watch this video, you probably already know all about this. And you probably already are like, just like, oh man, you just put me to sleep. But this video ain't even for y'all. This video is for you know people you that out, uh, maybe want to know about Destiny. People that want to see you know see what it's all about, kind of in a quick uh, five ten minute video on YouTube, and just to get a feel of you know what it's really you know the dynamics of it, the graphics, the gameplay, everything. Uh, out, and this this I'm specific playing. video I'm making right now is just simply a 10 minute video. It's just a quick tour, yes. just through the main tower area. So it's nothing really huge um, in terms around. of gameplay. But this is just kind of gonna. This is kind of basically where you start. So, um, well, right. you start off in the storyline, but like this is kind of your this is kind of home base right here. So, but I'll, I'll make future videos uh, if there's a, uh, you know. Okay, there's stop, a demand wait. for it. I'll make future videos where I uh, just Go shoot back. up some gameplay. I might even just do it anyway, just to let people see how it is in gameplay, so they get a little chance to like check it out. And there's a lot of other videos on YouTube, I'm sure, that are doing the same thing, you know. So, you know, feel free to check those out. But, you know, hit your boy up with a comment on the comment section or something. Let me know what you hey. thought. Uh, it's my first commentary uh, video on YouTube, so. And right there, I was just showing you real quick uh, through the, uh, those are the three different classes. You got your Vanguard, uh, you got your Exo, and then you got your um, Titan. Your Exo, Titan, and uh, Warlord, sorry. And right here, I'm just kind of just showing, showcasing the graphics, the lighting. It's just, it's so gorgeous in so many ways, you know. Um, there's just so much to love about the game, you know. I, we can go on and on about all the things that are wrong with it and all the disappointments that we had coming into this Destiny game when we heard that it was going to be so great, but uh, they recently, um, about a month or two back, released a, the first DLC called uh, The Dark Below, uh, which features like this boss, this crazy boss in like a raid called Crota. Crota's End is what the, I think the mission's called. I haven't personally got it yet, but my homie George got it and he said it was just, it was, it was great. He said it was just a really dope DLC, and he definitely recommended me to grab that, so I will be copying it at some point. And uh, I actually heard on IGN um, recently uh, that they're actually going to be releasing their second DLC called uh, um, something about the wolves. <laughs> I can't even remember what it's called, but uh, something something to do with wolves. And they said they're trying to they put out an article saying they're not going to make the same mistakes as they made in um, in. Um, the dark below so uh, it's gonna be dope to see kind of what they do with that too because I've been trying to follow along with just kind of the things that they did wrong in uh, the DLC of um, but yeah not to not to take away from how great the DLC is it's 20 bucks on the PS store definitely worth the 20 bucks in my opinion just from the things I've heard from my homie George and he's done he's pretty much gone through uh, a majority of it uh, he's gone through uh, like pretty much the whole thing in the sense of like just completing the storyline of it But there's always new weapons new items and stuff you could get And that's one thing that I kind of hope they expand on in the future is just keep this new content coming Because uh, you know gamers like me gamers like you know you guys that are out there You know we want always want new content you, you know we'd like to have that new content that. and to be Not able to go through right there I just cop some cloak of exodus that's just the sport dead orbit who he represents he's a faction in the in the game and I basically just want to support his faction so I just caught myself a uh, cloak of the exodus right there and yeah this is uh, just um, a man at the ship right and yeah this is pretty much going to con conclude the uh, end of the tour here and man I hope y'all enjoyed it there's uh, some secrets you can cop and some ships I uh, hope y'all enjoyed it man this is your boy the type of native signing off peace <laughs>